can. Uh, uh, hi guys, my name is Courtney. I'm a sophomore at Marion, and this poem is called Girls. Yeah. <laughs> Still my favorite. Um, this is about a girl. A girl who was my best friend. A girl I lost. A girl I might have loved. Kindergarten. Her favorite color was purple. Mine was green. She would wear a long trench coat so we could play detective at recess, chasing monsters up the slides and across the soccer field. She would save a bag of potato chips from her lunch so we could picnic outside in the corner of the basketball court where we could watch the cars go by. She and I would make phones from Legos so we could always talk, even if we were right next to each other. Second grade. Her favorite color was purple. Mine was blue. She told me what the word divorce meant long before I would hear it escape my mother's lips. She would kiss me on the cheek before we went back to class, and other kids would tell on us, but I never knew why. Fourth grade, she never told me why she left. Sixth grade, I don't know what her favorite color was. Mine was purple. She stopped wearing her trench coat, our old enemies no longer the monsters she was afraid of. She never brought potato chips again. She stopped having picnics outside. She never answered her phone. Legos are not. Eighth grade. Her favorite color was blue. Blue, the ink that always covered the arms of her new best friend, her new love, her new whatever she was. Mine was black. She shared her laughter with her then, simple glances across the table enough to throw them into a fit of giggles. She sang her duets with her then, in tune renditions of songs I'd never heard before. She wrote her stories with her then, in a code only they knew, one I couldn't break. Now, I think her favorite color is green. Mine is black. She lost her, their jokes, their songs, their secrets, gone, broken. She somehow come back to me with her potato chips and her Legos and her trench coat, smile plastered back on her face like everything could be what it once was. But her heart still sings sad melodies, writing poetry about the girl she loved, the girl she lost, the girl who was her best friend. And that girl isn't me.